Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another weather forecast here. This will not be a trouble from Isaiah's forecast. I'll actually have that later this afternoon, possibly when this make a landfall. So I apologize for not having uh, my forecast on travel from Isaiah's right now. I just thought it would be better for me to do another fall forecast as it is fall and winter week. This is day number two in fall winter week, so we are already... Uh, day two here. We're going to be seeing who can see the coldest fall uh, for 2020. So if you really want to see who can see the coldest or warmest fall, be sure to watch the whole video. It's going to be great detail and a lot of layers so you can see exactly how cold or how warm you will be this fall compared to your average. But before we get in the video, please subscribe if you're new, hit the like button, and also uh, hit the post notification icon so you get notified as soon as I post a video, whether it's tropics or whether it's during fall and winter week. I will be doing tomorrow who will have the snowiest fall of 2020, and then I will merge more into winter as we get uh, past midweek. But without further ado, let's get in this video. So let's get started in this video here. As you see, we have a couple layers, so it's, I'm going to explain all these layers and what they mean. So basically, the point of this video is to see who will have the coldest fall. We're also going to be seeing who can be see the warmest uh, fall as well. So as you see, let's start out with the purple. The purple means slightly cooler. So basically, you guys won't be seeing the coldest fall uh, based on your average. You guys are gonna be like, you guys are in the slightly below average for my fall. So for my fall forecast, you guys are gonna be hanging on the cooler side. But you guys can get some. You guys can get very cold at some at any given moment. At fall, we can have either some huge cold fronts or huge Arctic blasts that make it that far down south as they bring in maybe 20 degrees below average. You know, as the cold fronts go from the Arctic blast in early fall or in fall in general, they tend to be, they tend to die out a little bit as they get, uh, by the time they get to the southeast, maybe only like 10 degrees below average. But when they're in the Great Lakes, they're like 30 degrees below average. So I do think we can have some of those Arctic blasts like maybe uh, once a month, twice a month that go in those areas that are in the purple. But we're gonna be, main, in general, we will be saying uh, just a, a generally cooler fall won't be too shabby, won't be out of the normal, really. I don't think you'll necessarily really feel it. Um, but that's going to be all the way from Montana to portions of the Maine, all the way to Florida. So if you're in the purple, you will be seeing, in generally, a cooler fall. But obviously, you might have a, maybe one or two warm ups between uh, all the way from September to December. So you won't be seeing cold all of, uh, all of fall. But in general, throughout the four months, you'll be seeing a cool fall. Maybe you might see an early fall. Um... Well, actually, in the northeast, we'll be, we won't be seeing an early fall, but areas that are in the southeast, areas that are in the Midwest and Northern Plains, you guys will be seeing definitely an early fall this year. I've already seen leaves fall down uh, as early as uh, late July, which they, they usually start falling in early August, but now they start falling uh, all the way in July. So definitely seeing a sign of an early fall for years in Georgia, and I do expect that to see those conditions for Texas, Nebraska, Montana, and all of those other areas that are earned. Uh, that are uh, kind of east of the Appalachians, really, or sorry, west of the Appalachians. Uh, in the pink, we now have a cold fall. So it's not cool, but it's also not the coldest fall. So they are going to be seeing the second coldest fall based on average. So uh, that's basically what we're going to be seeing here. Actually, I did make a mistake, guys. I just made a mistake. I just realized that Michigan, that little purple there, I actually meant to make that a pink. I do, I do apologize. That's actually supposed to be a pink. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that. But yeah, there in Michigan, right there in Michigan, that's supposed to be a pink. So you guys aren't going to be seeing a purple. I do apologize. That was, I just realized that. So Southern Michigan, that's in the purple. You guys are actually supposed to be in a pink. So don't don't say that. You're not in, You're not supposed to be in purple. You're supposed to be in pink. So you'll be seeing those people in Southern Michigan will be seeing a, a second coldest fall. I do apologize for that. I did not realize that. And actually, I really don't have time to fix it because I got to go somewhere in 30 minutes. So I do apologize for that. I do really do. But then the pink color, including Southern Michigan, we will be having the second, the coldest fall here. So it's going to be generally a cold fall. Those Arctic blasts and incoming Great Lake cold fronts will be a lot worse at that point. Maybe 15, 30 degrees below average. Can be seeing some really big cold fronts between the Thanksgiving time, which we had last year. Extremely big cold fronts will are likely more for the Great Lakes. I don't think we're going to be seeing that general fall cold fronts that come into the center of the United States. I think we're going to be seeing more of a, a kind of a Great Lake. Ohio Valley Midwest kind of cold fronts uh, this fall that will head out now into areas as far as the southeast and all the way to the northeast there so if you're in that pink you're gonna be seeing the, uh, it's the second the coldest fall here based on your average now in that kind of red pink 
that reddish color there in the Great Lakes, that is where we've seen the coldest fall based on the average and basically possibly see many very very frequent cold fronts and arctic blasts we'll be seeing very little warm fronts in these areas if not at all so if you're in that, that red color you're definitely gonna be seeing a very cold fall based on your average you're gonna see many cold fronts and also you'll be seeing a very very snowy air in the great lakes as well because of the moisture and it's gonna be extremely cold so really likely to see a lot of great lake snow but that'll be in the next video there uh tomorrow that was that let's go now and check out now the who can see the warmest as you see we do have a little area of yellow that is where we'll be seeing the second to warmest area of the second to warmest fall based on average that's gonna be for portions of washington all the way to texas and the mexican border so there you possibly you won't really notice it really that much but maybe if maybe you probably will only notice it like late in the season like december november where you see that's where you're gonna start noticing that heat there but really gonna be decently warm won't be too shabby won't be like uh like won't be like desert like heat like we see in the summer it's gonna be fine maybe something like maybe let's say your average is 50 for december i'm not an expert on arizona but let's say it's 50 it might be like maybe 55 or maybe 58 you know just gonna be slightly warmer we could be seeing some very big warm fronts so throughout the coming months throughout fall but not as frequent and then last but not least the orange there that is where we've seen the sec uh, the, the warmest fall uh this year that's gonna be from washington all the way to the california coast we're gonna be seeing some really really bad warm fronts in these areas we saw it last winter uh we started sorry, we saw it last fall september and october extremely warm warm fronts for areas of the pacific northwest and the, the and the western coast there i definitely do see that happening this year especially with the la nina pattern as well as they kind of go from that neutral phase to the la nina watch there uh, so equal chances for La Nina neutral. So we're really monitoring that very closely. But I think we'll be seeing more of a La Nina pattern. Uh, but I think fall won't be like, like really the La Nina pattern. I think kind of winter is going to be where we have that La Nina pattern. Because I see fall is going to bring in very cool temperatures for the east. And then warm temperatures for the west. So it's going to be split east and west. But with the La Nina, it's going to be split north and south. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And bye, guys.